Hi everyone. So I want to talk to you a little bit about the Fuji X E3. This will be my official review of the camera. One of the cool things about this camera is its compact form. With the right lens, the combination is awesome. For example, this camera with the um, 23 millimeter f2 lens awesome combination very portable very lightweight very small somewhat discreet and uh, it does almost all the things you need to do for a let's say a travel camera or something or even a video camera if you're trying to um, record a, a few things going you know getting a much um, wider uh, prime lens like the 16 millimeter f1.4 it's still balanced it's a little top heavy but this is the lens I would recommend anybody to buy with this camera because if you're going to take video at night or take pictures at night this is an awesome uh, combination 16 millimeters is about 24 in full frame and that's something that I've always liked 24 I've never liked 23 as much because that's close to a 35 and 35s have been around for a long time but um, 24 is a little bit wider you can capture you know the building a little bit more at a more reasonable distance a building or a tree or something whatever it is that you're taking pictures or, or video one of the things that this camera uh, has that something like the XC2 doesn't is that 4k capability and be ready to um, you know do additional workflows for 4k I thought you know I was gonna use this camera a lot for 4k and I didn't and that's because it eats up battery life uh, like candy and that is uh, very typical with other cameras so that's not unique to Fuji uh, it only does 10 minutes which is fine I really think um, doing these type of little videos or taking videos of animals or plants or something or little interviews 10 minutes is is fine um, cool thing is that at 720 you can easily record an hour and a half using one battery and I think it's 30 minutes for that 30 minutes at 720 so there was something that I had to record uh, with one battery I was able to record at 720 an hour and a half and I still had some battery power so that's really nice using the 16 to 55 millimeter lens um, I wasn't when I use that with this camera it's a little bit too top heavy it's really nice that it can take really beautiful pictures but unfortunately it's too small you could put a grip and it might help out but that's you're going to pay a little more for that I think the best lens is the 23 millimeter f 2.0 or the 60 millimeter if you really need that extra stop and a little bit more wider um, so this this doesn't have an ISO button which is a little bit um, you know I mean I've gotten used to having an ISO button especially on the XT2 so what I did was I used a function button there's a function button that I could use as a ISO but usually I put the ISO on automatic but not all the time uh, shutter speed button uh, exposure compensation of course and the aperture on the on the um, lens one thing that this camera does have and you know where Fuji wants to take this camera is that it has an auto switch which tells me that this camera is made for the enthusiast uh, who wants to get into the system but also somebody who doesn't want to deal with so many options so you switch it to automatic and it does everything automatic for you which is pretty awesome I don't like I don't like that it doesn't have a d-pad it's very hard to uh, manipulate the menus with this joystick I've gotten used to it I've, I'm, I'm better at it but there are many times where I thought I selected something and it didn't and it just wasted my time 
the touch screen is something that is a great idea but it's not a hundred percent for me but that's because uh, touch screens I know can, the touch screen that this has needs to be improved and I know it can be because something like the SL2 which I'm filming right now with the SL2 uh, the touch screen on, on that on the SL2 is phenomenal I mean it's it's incredible just like it's dual pixel autofocus you know um, those two things make the SL2 a wonderful camera but compared to this I rather have this um, and there's many reasons why and I'm sure there are other people out there that would say you know I rather have a cat a Canon camera than the Fuji camera um, one thing that this camera I thought was going to be better was face recognition and it has the same face recognition as in video mode as in the X100F or the X-T2 it doesn't seem it, it the frame goes around your face in terms of it recognizes your face but the focusing it doesn't do a very good job in focusing and I'm not too sure why uh, it does that I know that if you lower down the um, ap the aperture to like 1.4 it, it does a better job in focusing and the face detection one thing that I'm not too happy with are the buttons on the top it does have a view uh, view mode drive that was kind of hard to figure out which one's which in the dark especially and the uh, auto the auto exposure lock button is a little too far for me with the button with the shutter button but those things are not really deal breakers uh, autofocus lock button is is a little bit kind of weird the Q button is fine where it is there's not an issue with that um, I felt the camera for me was a little bit too small I do have larger hands but um, if I had the 23 millimeter f2 point and f2 point lens it, it wasn't that um, it was it was balanced uh, 16 to 55 if I haven't mentioned again that's a little bit too big and the camera is not as balanced I think that's about it um, picture quality is the same as if you would take your X100F or X-T2 I think this camera is really meant for people who really want to get into the X system it's less expensive than the X-T2 or the Pro the X-Pro2 um, and it has beautiful nice features like 4k touchscreen um, and it has some other things you know like um, uh, an ability to transfer files to your phone easier and such um, so definitely if you get a chance at the at some camera store um, check it out if you're really looking into a Fuji camera consider it you know f you know hold it take a few pictures see if the buttons right for you and such and uh, you might like the camera all right I'll be seeing you later bye bye